Hey everybody, Toulouse Bricks here, and I'm here with the two new Disney sets that were revealed. I uh, believe what's maybe on the 13th, or yesterday the 14th, or today the 15th. Either which way, it does not really matter. The two new sets are 43212, which is the Celebration Train, and 43217, the Up House. Now, here's the Up House here. Let's do an up close and personal picture of it right there. Um, looks pretty good doesn't it yeah well it needs a lot more balloons and um also with this set is only like the facade the front it does have a back to it uh which we can go down here and see it in this picture here so there is some back to it here uh internally some stuff into it um now that being said Oh, yes, and it also comes with the, the boy, the man, and the dog, which is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> that is that set, and uh, they're showing a projected price of this of $59.99 US. Holy crap! Uh, I was thinking maybe that would be a $45 set tops US, uh, like so maybe $49 Canadian tops, but it's going to be uh, probably a $65 or $70 set here in Canada. Uh, I'm going to have to think twice about that one. Um, it's uh, for the number of parts in it, 598. That's kind of scary. Um, once again, it's Disney 100 and it's the licensing. So anyway, say no more about that. Uh, the train, I heard about this and I had to dive in and look at it. When I heard Disney and Train, oh yeah, I was so excited. Ugh, I digress. I am so disappointed. It's a junior set to start off, um, which they now call 4 Plus. So, it, whatever, it's the same thing anyway. Junior is 4 Plus. Um, comes with six figures. The first thing that I saw on it was Tinkerbell. Now, I have. Tinkerbell from the original castle set, the big castle. So I was thinking, oh yeah, okay, here we go. The value of her is going to plummet. However, this one here, it looks like she has solid wings on the back instead of fabric wings. Um, and I can't remember what's on the castle one, uh, the castle minifigure, because it's downstairs on the display. So, um, But anyway, this here I'm really disappointed with. Uh, just by the look of it, I'm thinking um, it would be good to have as a little um, uh, parade float type thing if you have an amusement park and you have Disney and you're into Disney and stuff like that. If you're really into Disney, don't let me discourage you. I'm not saying don't go and buy it, but um, it's just kind of disappointing to look at. It's like a little parade float thing. And, um, you know, I, I consider that for my uh, display because I am into Disney and all. And uh, there they are once again. Um, get like Sheriff Woody's car. Uh, Moana's. Um, looks like a wave. Probably a wave. Peter Pan's boat. Uh, Mickey's train. And uh, a little stand off to the side here. So, um, yeah, looks kind of cool. And, of course, yeah, there's more pictures of the up house than that. Um, so if we go back and we look at the train, I'm not even going to say the word that I think of when I see this price tag. $40 US, $39.99. Holy. Wow. I'm thinking this should be no more than a $24 set, $29.99 tops in Canada, but they're going for $40 US, so that means $49 or $55 here in Canada because it's always uh, marked up because of the exchange and that. So, um, yeah, Ooh, that may be most likely not in my future at all. Um, I'm thinking uh, I already have all the figures, so if you wanted to buy all the parts, you can probably source them out and buy them. Um, there's nothing that I see that's unique to the set except uh, maybe the Sheriff tile, um, the uh, Mickey Mouse ears and face head tile here. That has been in some other sets. 
Now, question is, is this a sticker on the side of the train? Hard to say. Um, is this a different uh, Moana? Uh, don't know. I, I think it might be, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, so don't quote me on that. But it's a little pricey for a junior set. Once again, it's the licensing. And once again, Lego being Lego. Uh, overpricing everything. And uh, they seem to be doing that with almost every new set that's coming out. It's just like ridiculous and like all the kids see all these nice new beautiful sets um like the rivendell set and uh yeah well i mean that's one that i won't be picking up because it's selling for about 670 dollars canadian so um but i mean the younger kids see these things and they're like oh wow i really want that dad or mom and um you can't afford to buy it i mean that's just it's you know the hardcore lego people and a falls yes we'll buy it now i'm hardcore i am hardcore bricking uh i will buy any 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 bricks now that being said i will buy any brand bricks within a decent price range something that is utterly and ridiculously high priced uh i got a really 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 wanted bad to, to get it but i've never i think the most expensive one i've ever bought was the first roller coaster that came out that was the most expensive one I've ever bought. I think that was that is the most expensive one I've ever bought. And uh, was it worth it? It was close to being worth it, but I had to modify. I uh, I had to modify it a bit in order for it to to keep its functionality going year after year on the display because it's uh, it's pretty good, but it's not uh, it's not the best either. So I'm kind of disappointed in that. But that's a story for another time. Today we're just looking at these new sets that were released. So um that's it uh the two sets little high price celebration train and the up house clearly stating that prices are going up well until next time this is two loose bricks saying happy bricking happy building and stay safe we'll talk to you again in the next video